2023 is right around the corner and you might be thinking that this is the year that you want to do something different or something much greater that you've been that you've not been doing and you might be there thinking and trying to figure out what can you do to make money while in today's video i'll be sharing with you business ideas that you could do to make from 300 Kenyan shillings to 1,000 Kenyan shillings per day. I wanna know what nobody knows. I wanna go. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess J. Todd. For those who are new here and for the returning subscribers, Manze, thanks, thanks a lot. I always appreciate your coming back. And if you have not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. You could share this video to as many people as you know. Let them know about the business ideas that I'm going to be sharing with you. And thanks, thanks a lot, Manze. And let's go into the vlog. The business ideas that I'll be sharing with you today, you could start them with from 500 Kenyan shilling to 1,000 Kenyan shilling. Or maybe if you have more, you could start the business with it. And before we go into the business ideas, I feel that it is also important for you to understand that business is not for the faint-hearted. It is not for the faint-hearted. You need to be very, very hardworking. You need to be very passionate about it. You need to be determined and you need to have the consistency to do it. Okay? So let's jump into it and the first business idea that i'll be sharing with you is offering catering services this one will never go out of style you know what everybody eats everybody eats and most people they even eat up to three meals per day and some people and or most people they won't find time to cook their own meals they look up to food vendors who will sell for them these foods and I feel like if you have the passion or you love cooking why don't you jump into this make money you you could even cook some mandazis in your house you could even make food you could make samosas you could make bajias and sell them you could sell to your neighbors you could sell to your friends you could even make some chapatis or make chapati and stew. You sell to those people who are in the shops, you know. Some people who are in those shops, they don't, they have to depend on food vendors because they don't want to go back home or maybe they had not carried their own food for lunch. So they need something to eat for lunch, you know. You could sell to them. And if you make it your daily routine, they will be your customers. You will be getting phone calls. To deliver food to them so don't hesitate do it jump into it just do it. the second business idea that i have for you is buying and reselling this is the most smartest way of doing business and this one most people use it some people even buy products from a manufacturer they go and repackage it and rebrand it with their uh, company's name and they resell it again if at all you don't have much money we are talking about from 500 to a thousand kenyan shilling you know people even sell second-hand things like maybe beds you could buy a chair hmm? i'll give you an example of clothes you know the thrift clothes we call them mitumba in kenya and this is the best business that you could do for example, the children clothes, they really, really sell a lot because you you could see and you all know that children will always be born every every day. Actually, every day there's a child born and or there's a pregnant woman somewhere or there's someone planning to get pregnant somewhere. That means this business will never go out of style and people will always buy kids, kids clothes. So this is the best business to do. And... You could go to the market, buy these clothes. They are very, very cheap. They cost from maybe 40, 50, 60. You could come, you could come and sell them 
and they will give you double to triple profits you know and it's not the only thing that you could do you could sell shoes you could sell bags and they are very very profitable most people like the mitumba shoes because they are very very strong and they last long unlike the new shoes you know the new shoes when you just wash them with water they start to you don't like them anymore but these shoes are very strong the mitumba ones and for clothes you could even come or wash them you could even iron them you display them in your shop if you have a shop if you don't have a shop you could even hawk them if you don't feel like you want to hawk you could sell them online you take good pictures you if it's like my outfit you take a picture maybe someone wearing wearing it take a picture and post it people will get to ask you how they could get the clothes or they will want to buy them you know make use of your social media handles use them in the right way not just posting memes just make use of those social media accounts use them for business make money it's not just wasting bundles make money the third business idea i have for you is craft work and beaded jewelry and i have an example here with me everyone likes to look good you know don't i look good with this this is bead work something very simple someone just went and bought some beads and they make a beautiful chain like this and i look good with it you know you could also do this these things are very very cheap in karyoko market you could buy those beads imagine a packet of beads just goes for 100 kenyan shillings imagine start this business a stuff you know and you could also use plastics to make some decorations for the house and you even sell the fourth business idea i have for you is portrait drawing imagine drawing someone and they give you up to ten thousand kenyan shillings isn't that a good amount of money i know this one you just need a pencil and canva just that and you can draw and from one thousand up to ten thousand you make your own money draw beautiful pictures draw images of people and sell them don't just sit there and you know how to draw the fifth business idea i have for you is actu actually this one don't need you don't need any money you don't need any you just need your energy is laundry most people don't like to wash clothes i also don't like to wash clothes so you could start this business you could go ask your neighbor let me help you to wash clothes wash your clothes and maybe you could give me something small the next person you go tell them you you would like to wash their clothes and they will pay you a certain amount of money and with that you will be growing your business you even you don't need any capital you just need your strength you save some money you could even start the business that you maybe want if you don't have money to start a business and that's how you start and make and the last business idea that i'll be sharing with you is making something you could make detergents you could bake a cake you could make mats and so much more there's a lot a lot that you could do and sell if you know you could make anything make it and sell sell it as up make your own money i'll show you an example of a mat that i've made myself don't mind it it could be old but it has been giving me services this one i made it in 2018 actually and it looks it looks good i have several i made them when i was idle and i was even selling them and i was making my own money there's a lot that you could do guys you could make detergents at home they are very easy to make you could make even jig who knows you could do a lot just do it make money 
as I said earlier, business is not for the faint-hearted. You need to be very hardworking. Just pick one business that you feel you're okay with it. Just do it. If you just put your hard work in, just put your patience in your business, that's how you grow. Be determined, have the consistency to do it, and 2023 will be a money, money year for you. You will never be broke. Thank you very much for watching this video. Share to as many people as you can. Let them make money. Thank you. Bye.